today in a new feature for Woodpecker TV, the third degree with Alfie Strong. Um, great to have you with us, Alfie. No worries. And uh, here's a chance for you guys to get to know him a little bit better. So last season, Alfie, was the highest uh, finish for the club in yeah. 135 year history. What do you put that down to when most people were thinking we were probably going to end up mid-table like push? I think you put it down to a few things, really. Just the togetherness of the team. Uh, everyone puts the club, puts the shirt on, wants to play for Woodbridge, uh, and everyone put their body on the line for everything. Uh, put their head in anything, and obviously the, the style of play that uh, which emanates from Scales and Snelly's style as well. Just wanting to play out from the back and relentlessly doing it. If it doesn't work, that we try again. And obviously, there's risks that are involved with playing out from the back. <laughs> obviously, you're gonna you're gonna give away a few. Uh, but just the style of play, you've got a lot of teams that just pump it and pump it and pump it and we can deal with that as well. Uh, so just the style of play and the togetherness of the team really. You don't feature on Woodpecker TV as much as say some of the strikers just because of the <laughs> distance you are away. Um, but I mean you had 46 starts last season which is amazing. Um, and then you had I believe it was over 10 clean sheets uh, and a goal. Can't forget the goal again <laughs> against Clapton. <laughs> Uh, you must be pleased with your, your season. Yeah, no, I was. I thought it was a really good season for me. I was getting support as player of the year as well. And that uh, just shows that I was, I was happy with my season particularly. Uh, made, made, I made saves when I was needed to be there. I uh, had not, I, mean, I can only remember one game where I had a really bad game. Uh, but yeah, and also it's nice to get a goal and a penalty shoot out. Uh, they're, they're my favourite kind of times in games and cup games. So. Yeah, I was really pleased with the season. <laughs> you, uh, you missed the last game uh, through injury um, and played the, the whole of the second half of the, the game before that, carrying that injury. Yeah. Um, how's that doing now? Yeah, so I broke my finger against Witten in the second to last game of the season, just in a bundle in the net. So, But it's all good now, uh, recovering, uh, feeling ready for the season. So that's all good. Good stuff. Um, we had Luke Mallet join us towards the, uh, the latter part of, of last season. He made a good impact here. Um, what can you tell us about him? I understand you've played together before. Yeah, Mallet, Mallet's a really, really, really good player. We, um, yeah, I've known Mallet for years. We um, played at Colchester for a few years together in the academy over there. And so, yeah, Mallet, I hadn't seen him play for a few years other than playing against him in an FA Youth Cup game against Braintree down here. But okay. oh, since he's come over, he's been absolutely brilliant. Uh, speed, uh, can play virtually anywhere down either wings and he's been a really good addition to the squad. What are your thoughts on the se season ahead, uh, both the fortunes of Woodbridge Town obviously, um, but also uh, the Premier Division in, in general? So, yeah, I think the Premier Division as a whole is going to be really competitive. Uh, I think, obviously, with uh, teams like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think with teams like Stowe Market and God Manchester and Milton all coming down, it's still going to be really competitive uh, and I'm hoping that we can do just as well, if obviously in an ideal world, better than last year, but it'll be tough competition, but I fancy us to be up well and truly up there and in, a, in the race for the title there. Who, who else do you think, uh, who's going to be the, the top three if, if we're going to be one of those teams, who, who are the other two? Top three, I reckon that'll be us, Stowe Market and God Manchester. Okay, um, yeah, we'll, have a, look, we'll have a look at that yeah, at the end of the season yeah, too. That's, that's my guess. Um, it's been a few uh, rule changes, as there are every year. Um, Sin being, being probably the most spoken about one. Um, but what do you? Are there any other any of those changes that um, you know, you're interested in or got an opinion on? I personally don't agree with the Sin uh, I don't. I don't think that's a great rule to bring in because I just I disagree with that one. I think there are other ways of dealing with them kind of issues, but. That, that, uh, like a yellow card that, yeah, that has exactly. been for, uh, forever. I feel, I feel the yellow card is enough. <laughs> uh, but, um, and obviously, well, with the ball well, not having to leave the area to play out, I think that's something that will really suit us going forward uh, when we learn how to play with that more effectively as well. Uh, I think that's a really good one. Away from Woodbridge, uh, do you support a professional team at all? <laughs> no, I actually don't support a team. Well, I only just kind of care about the football I play. Uh, that's not, I'm not too interested uh, to see who I have a bet on at the weekend, that's who I support. Have you got a, a player, I'm presuming it's going to be a keeper, yeah. a professional player that you call your favourite or that you uh, 
admire or look up to? Ben Foster. Yeah. He is absolutely class. Uh, just to, he is technically unbelievable and just a great player. Uh, and you can see that in the way he plays. He may not be most keepers' favourites. Uh, obviously, you've got Neuer and De Gea up there, but uh, for me, it is Ben Foster just because of his technical ability. For sure. A few uh, quick fire questions now. Mm-hmm. Um, tough game. Uh, you're under pressure. Who don't you want to give you that back pass? Jake Green. He always somehow manages to give me a horrible bobbly back pass. And I have to remind him and Taylor every game, I'll be out of the goal when you give it to me. Just don't play it in the goal. Uh, so I'm going to have to say Jake for that. And, and who would you want? Who is going to give you that ball in the right place, not put you under too much pressure? To be fair, Liam tends to give me quite a nice back pass out there. Quite, they're normally nice and where I want it. So. That's it, yeah, I'll give it to Liam that one. Cool. Who's the biggest joker of the pack? He hasn't been here long, but Luke Mallet by a mile. <laughs> that, that, man, that guy is crazy. Honestly, he sits there just talking absolute rubbish uh, for an hour before every game, and everyone just sits there and laughs and watches him. It's, I look forward to that in a few games. Who's the cleverest on the pitch? Who's got that football in brain? Oh, I don't think this needs an answer, and Carlos. God, any defender that comes up against him, whatever that defender thinks he's going to do, Carlos knows before he's even thought about it. Uh, you cannot touch him, and he he just sees the whole picture. It's incredible, just the way he plays, and it shows the play, the level he's played at. Uh, he's got one; he knows what he's on about. <laughs> what about off the pitch? Who, who's the who's the cleverest off the pitch? I think I'll give that to Azza. Uh, I think on the. I can't remember, but I think when we played Swindon Supermarine away last year, he was sitting there on the coach doing a crossword, you know, <laughs> something like that on the newspaper. So, uh, he seems to know his stuff, so I'll give, give that one to Asa. Yeah. Worst dress sense. Who's got the worst dress sense in the club? And give, give us an example. I think it's harsh, but after the other day in the training game, I'm going to have to give it to Sean because he came in with this black and white shirt with some pattern on it. And I think some, I think some people had some comments about that one. <laughs> Yeah, it's harsh, but I think I'll give it to Sean. Sure. <laughs> um, topical one for you now. Mm-hmm. What happened uh, during the week with uh, Mesut Ozil? Uh, who would you want as your passenger in the car for a car jacket? Liam. Liam by my. <laughs> He's the man. He's going to sort it out. <laughs> he will sort it out. There is nothing getting past him. <laughs> Good stuff. Alfie, yeah. thanks so much for today. No problem. Good luck with the season ahead. Cheers. Thank you.